In today's video, I'm gonna do a basic comparison between five different 3D animation software, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel, the channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. If you're also new to animation or you want to start out and you uh, stumbled across this uh, video because you are looking for uh, 3D animation software, which one is best for you. Um, I created a animation startup guide, so it is absolutely free. So in the description box below, there's a link. Just click there and I will send that guide to you. And this guide consists of everything that you're gonna need as a new animator. If you want to start your journey as an animator, this guide will give you everything, including links to all the different websites for more information, to look for recommended specs and also prices or if you want to purchase it. Um, so this guide will consist of um, animation software, both 2D or 3D, other production software like script writing and storyboarding software, as well as the different types of drawing tablets. Um, so if you're interested, again, in the description box below, there's a link and I will send that guide to you. Now, as I've mentioned today, we're gonna look at five different animation software, 3D animation software. So I'm gonna look at Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, Unreal Engine, and iClone. Now, one thing, one software I could have added, but I just didn't was Daz Studio. It is one that I use. It is also free. So what I will do is I will put the link to Daz Studio um, in the description along with all these softwares as well if you want to go check that out as well. Um, so obviously, let's look at the first thing, probably the most important one, the price. What are the price points for all these different softwares? Because that will determine, obviously, according to your budget, which one you're going to buy. Okay, so if we look at this chart that I created, or this um, graph, uh, Blender, obviously is a free software as well as Unreal Engine and both of them are really really good software even though they are free you can really create amazing software with this. Unreal Engine is mostly used for gaming so if you are into gaming Unreal Engine is the one for you but you can also use it if you want to create like movies or uh, animation series etc. Then Maya is $1,295 per year. Um, so that is quite expensive. Cinema 4D, uh, you'll have to check their website for their prices um, because they have seven different options. Okay, so I couldn't add all seven here because um, this, the seven options depend you get different add-ons or different softwares included. So it really depends on your need. So if you want to know the price, um, make sure to go visit Cinema 4D's website. Unreal Engine, again, is free, like I've mentioned, and iClone 8 is $599, and that is once off. Now, just a quick disclaimer before I continue. Uh, it's important to remember that all the information that I found regarding the software was accurate on the time of filming this uh, video. So obviously over time, these softwares will have updates or upgrades and new versions will be released. Um, they'll be more demanding on your computer. So the recommended specs and graphics cards will change over time. So as of the recording of this video, all this information was correct and some of the information I couldn't find, okay? So maybe it is out there um, on the internet and maybe if you do have a link to some of the information that I couldn't find, leave it in the description or in the comments below. Let's help each other. But yeah, some of the um, information I really couldn't find. Um, but if you do have a link um, feel free to share it um, below. So these are the price points for all the five different um, softwares. The next one that will also influence the price, I believe, is the graphics card. 
Okay, so with Blender on the website, they say 8 gigabyte VRAM with OpenGL 4.3. That is what you, uh, the recommended graphics card you're going to need. With Maya, um, I said check the website because when I went on the website and looked at recommended graphics card, it is a whole PDF document to download. <laughs> so I, I can't share all of it um, in this um chart that I've created um, so yeah you'll have to go to the website and check out what um, the recommended graphics card you're going to need um, and then the same with Cinema 4D they also have a list of graphics cards so for those two it is better just to go to the website and check for yourself if the graphics card that you have fall on their list then Unreal Engine, um, the recommended one is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Super. And then with iClone, it is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 16 Series AMD Radeon RX 500 Series. So that is the recommended. So again, um, make sure if you are interested in one of these softwares, just go and check on the websites. In any case, this information might change over time. So the next one is... Do these websites or these softwares have great tutorials? Okay, so this for me is quite important, especially if you are new to animation. Um, you can obviously go on platforms like Udemy and take some online courses. And um, But for me, it is quite important if you animate and you're stuck, can you quickly go to the website, find a video that will help you? Okay, um, so a lot of these websites, they do have tutorials, but they're not user friendly. It's very all over the place. It's very difficult to find what you are looking for. Okay, so Blender do have um, tutorials and there's a lot of Blender videos on YouTube as well. So Blender is a one that you can really easily find what you want to do okay so even if you can't find tutorials on the website for what you are looking for you will be able to find answers on youtube maya on their website they have like a community or a learning so it's not like they have tutorial videos um, it looks like you'll have to go on the sign up to uh, go through a training process or a learning process so um, I couldn't find tutorial videos maybe there is you can share a link but from what I see it looks like if you've purchased the software or you have access to the training material or you have to pay extra I'm not sure but yeah it's not like you can just go to the website and find uh, tutorial videos Cinema 4D do have tutorials on the website unreal engine also have now the reason i said no is they do have but it is it is very confusing <laughs> it's very confusing to find what you are looking for for um it is just a bit all over the place so um yeah i, th I think it is a bit you're going to struggle to find answers from what I see. Maybe it's not as difficult as it seems, but from what I see on the website, it looks like all the users can create videos and submit it as tutorials. That's what it looks like to me. Um, it doesn't look organized. Where iClone, I have to say I use iClone and also Cartoon Animator, which is their 2D animation software, and they are really on top with the tutorials you can go on the website and you can find what you are looking for and every time when they release updates they add a tutorial saying how this update works and what you can do so iClone is very easy to follow along and very easy to learn as well from all the software iClone is probably the easiest one to learn and I've created videos in the past where I say iClone is the best software if you are new to 3D animation. So that is def definitely one that you can um, consider if you are new to 3D animation. iClone will be the best one suited. Okay, so the next one is modeling sculpting. Okay, I see I've made a spelling mistake there. But can you sculpt inside 
um, the software. Now with Blender, Maya, and Cinema 4D, um, according to the websites and Google, uh, Cinema 4D I had to Google. Um, so yeah, with those three you can sculpt or model characters or props um, inside the software. Unreal Engine you can't. With iClone um, you this will actually affect the price because if you want to create characters you'll have to either get a ZBrush plugin or you can use um, Character Creator which you'll have to purchase extra and you can import characters but you'll again have to ha um, get Character um, Creator and you can also import props and scenes but you'll have to use 3D Exchange which is another software so you'll have to purchase a lot of softwares as well but inside iClone itself you can't do any sculpting or modeling but you can create basic scenes um, like there are some basic um, shapes and you can build something basic with it um, but to do um, advanced sculpting and modeling you won't be able to do that inside iClone but like I've mentioned you can also um, uh, if you have character creator you can get ZBrush and you can do modeling and you can link your character or um, carry your character from ZBrush over to um, character creator but again that will um, mean you'll have to purchase character creator and 3D exchange on top of the $600 for iClone. The next one marketplace again if you are new to animation a marketplace is a great place um, because if you can't sculpt or model then there's a place where you can go and purchase things that is what I do. I can't sculpt or model for my 3D animation. So um, Daz Studio is a great place to go if you want to go get characters or scenes or props, etc. That is what I use. And it's very easy to um, convert that over to iClone what, that I also use. But iClone and Unreal Engine both have their own marketplaces. So you can go and purchase scenes or characters. Um, so that is great where Blender, Maya and Cinema 4D don't have that have their own marketplace but there are websites where you can still purchase props and characters for Blender, Maya or Cinema 4D so it doesn't mean that you, you can't purchase things for these softwares there are websites but they don't have their very own marketplace and for example with iClone if you can sculpt a model you can create your own characters and scenes and sell it on their marketplace as well and you can generate an income for you. And then finally the last thing, um, can you use mocap for these softwares? Okay, so again this is what I could find on the websites, maybe some of the information is wrong but from what I could see According to Google, if I'm wrong, blame Google. <laughs> but Blender you can, Maya you can, Unreal Engine you can, and with iClone you can uh, link up mocap. With Cinema 4D uh, you can't link up mocap, but you can do um, capturing with mocap, data capturing, and you can import the FBX data into Cinema 4D. So it's almost like a workaround that you'll have to do if you want to use mocap. So mocap also if you are new to animation is a great tool um, especially how it has um, advanced over the years. In the, in the beginning you have to purchase a mocap suit which is quite expensive. Nowadays there are free tools on the internet that you can use um, with video. So you can just upload a video and it will do the mocap um, capturing for you. So this is everything that I could find. Let me know in the comments below what software you like. Um, if you have any information that I've changed or that I don't have, feel free to add the links in the description below uh, or in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And um, 
yeah, let's help each other. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithms. And also feel free to subscribe to this video and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. So guys, that is it for me. I will see you guys next week with another video. So God bless and happy animating.